Well, for more, let's now talk to author and publicist F. William Endall, joining us live from Frankfurt. Thanks for being with us this evening. Now, at a time when France and the rest of the Eurozone are trying to weather the economic crisis, what's Paris seeking to gain by getting involved in another conflict overseas? Well, I think the, uh, the intervention in Mali is, is a follow-up to the French role in, in uh, other destabilizations that we've seen, especially in, in uh, Libya last year with the toppling of the Gaddafi regime. And this is, uh, in a sense, this is French neocolonialism in action, one has to think. But uh, interestingly enough, I think behind the French intervention is the very strong hand of the U.S. Pentagon, which has been preparing this, this whole uh, partitioning of Mali, which is it's now looming to be, between northern Mali, where the, where the uh, al-Qaeda and other terrorists are, are uh, uh, supposedly the cause for the French military intervention, and southern Mali, which is a more agricultural region, because in northern Mali, recently, there have been huge finds of oil discovered. So that leads one to think that maybe it's very convenient that these armed rebels spill over the border from Libya last year, and just at the same time, a U.S.-trained uh, captain, military captain, uh, creates a coup d'etat in, in the southern capital of Mali and installs a, a dictatorial regime against uh, one of Africa's few democratically elected presidents. So this whole thing bears the imprint of U.S. AFRICOM, Africa Command, and an attempt to militarize the entire region and its resources. Mali is a strategic linchpin in that. It borders Algeria, which is uh, uh, one of the top goals of, of uh, these various uh, NATO interventions from French, from, from U.S. and other sides. Uh, Mauritania, the Ivory Coast, Guinea, Burkina Faso, and all of this area is just swimming in untapped resources, whether it be gold, manganese, copper, what, what will you? So. Uh, I now, now, you say that you, you smell or so, per se, the, the Pentagon behind this, but why was France the first Western country to get involved in such a conflict? Why are they out front? Well, I think that's the Obama administration's strategy. Let, let France uh, take the hit on this, as they did in, in uh, Libya and other places in the uh, past uh, year and a half, two years. And uh, the U.S. will try to play a less discreet, uh, more discreet role in the background, rather than being up front as they were in Iraq or Afghanistan, which uh, cost the U.S. huge amounts of uh, credibility around the world. So they're playing a, a little bit more sly game here. But the uh, the rush for the U.S. to announce its support of the French military intervention and the actions of Africom uh, over the past year and a half, two years in Mali. Uh, make it clear that this is a U.S. operation with the French as a junior partner. How far do you think this conflict could potentially escalate? Could the French get bogged down? And, and could we see, or who might we see uh, else get involved in it? Well, I don't think the, uh, the other European countries are loath to get involved in an Afghan-type uh, ground situation with their troops. The Germans are providing humanitarian aid and some uh, special forces training so far. But... Uh, I think, frankly, I, I think the Al-Qaeda, the northern Maghreb, is a, uh, a very suspicious operation, and the timing of its uh, uh, activities coming over the border suggests that uh, perhaps some NATO countries might be uh, helping uh, the Al-Qaeda group uh, to get uh, military weapons and to, to create the causes belly that justifies the NATO intervention. I think, I think we're seeing a very cynical game being played out here in Mali, and it's a very dangerous one when Africa is suddenly becoming a continent that's uh, being discovered by China, by the U.S., by Europe, uh, and the rest of the world as, as the next place where uh, untold uh, wealth and resources can be, can be captured. Author and publicist F. William Endall, live with us on the line from Frankfurt. Thank you very much for your analysis this hour. Thank you.